So there are no problems then in the in the police force? Is that what you're saying I to me? I it's only challenges. I didn't say that either. Well, uh, my question to you was what were the problems? That's right. So and there I... are no problems. Is that what you're saying to me? I didn't say that either. What are you saying? Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. And yes, our fumbling Tory policing minister, Chris Felt, really struggles to answer what is his very first question in the Home Affairs Select Committee meeting about police priorities, where Dame Dana Johnson asked about what he thinks are the problems that he has seen since he's been in his post. He then tried to be far too clever for his own good and all he managed to do was tie himself in knots and make a complete belt up of himself. Enjoy. I'd just like to start. You, you've been in post, I think you said, since November. Mm. So I just wondered whether you might like to give the committee your overview of what, what are the key problems with policing today in England and Wales? Um, well, let's just start by talking about the picture as a whole, if I may, Dame Diana. I mean, the first thing we need to do is... Concentrate on the problems as you see them since you've been in post. Well, I think the, the, the challenges we need to meet uh, include making sure the police have adequate resources, which is um, why we're making sure, and I made sure, that in the police funding settlement for this financial year, we're just starting. Frontline policing, police and crime commissioners, um, have £550 million extra compared to last year. So resourcing is the beginning. In terms of officer numbers, we are on track to have record numbers of officers across England and Wales. Um, the figures are coming out tomorrow morning at 9.30, and hopefully that will be confirmed. So resourcing is, the, is always the first challenge, and I think we're making this, very good um, progress has been made uh, in the two areas I've just described. Uh, the second issue... Well, 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 I'm going to butt in here, because uh, unlike Dame Diana Johnson, who is a consummate professional, I'm not... And after about three or four minutes of watching uh, our Chris Felt pull figures from out of his ass to make it look like he knows what he's doing, I couldn't stand it any longer. So I'm going to whiz it forward so that you don't have to hear him pulling figures from out of his backside. And I'll go to the point where the consummate professional, Dame Dana Johnson, decides to put him out of his misery and ask him the same question again. Um, in terms of crime, it's worth noting that since 2010, overall crime has fallen by 50%, according to the Crime Survey, which is the ONS's principal source of data on crime. And, you know, domestic burglary down 56%. Um, what have we got? Robbery down 57%. So theft you... down by 52%. Violence down 38%. Which I think we can you, all be extremely pleased about. OK, I asked you about what the problems were. So you've identified, you say resourcing was a problem, you say the number of officers was a problem, you've said the time that police officers, how they were using well, their time was a problem. Well, forgive, on, on forgive me, on the first two, I said those are challenges that I believe we've met because of the record number of officers we're on track we, to deliver and the, greatest, the extra half a billion pounds of funding. With the greatest respect, Minister, my question to you, well, what, what were the problems that you'd identified since you came into post in November? So what you've just been explaining to me, I know you've been trying to move on to what, what you've pro proactively done, but you've explained to me that resourcing was a problem at the beginning and more money has no, gone I didn't, in. No, forgive me, I didn't say it was a problem. I know that was your question, um, which I, and I answered it in part. I said those were challenges that have been met. I my didn't say they were, forgive me, I didn't say those were problems. My You're putting question, words into my mouth with Minister, respect. was what the problems were. So from what you've just said to me... I'm identifying that you were saying resourcing was a problem because more that. money has They were gone challenges in. that are being met. I did not say they were problems. So there are no problems then in the, in the police force? Is that what you're saying to me? I it's only challenges. I didn't say that either. Well, uh, my question to you was what were the problems? That's right. So and there I... are no problems. Is that what you're saying to me? I didn't say that either. What are you saying? I said there are some challenges which are being met in the areas... Of resourcing, I said there was there were some problems with uh, non essentially non crime and non policing activity that were taking up police crime that we have fixed in the case of the Home Office counting rules and are in the process of fixing in relation to mental health. Um, I said that I'm pleased. Need to rehearse all this again. Okay. I'm just trying to get a picture. Since you came into post in November, what you have identified as key problems in policing. So. Just going through the list that you've given to us around resources, around officer time, around numbers of officers, around some of the specific problems with um, offences like rape and serious sexual yeah, that is a problem. Assault. That is a problem. Yeah, OK. Now, is there a difference between a problem and a challenge? Now, for me, 
seems like there's no difference, is there? Tied himself in absolute knots, didn't he? Seems to think that the quicker you talk, the more uh, intelligent you seem to look. But all he seemed to do was just made himself look incredibly ridiculous, didn't he? But the thing is, one thing about Dame Dana Johnson, she is a little bit like a dog with a bone. Uh, because when it came to the end of the select committee meeting, she asked him the same question again, but in a different way. She asked him, what are the things that keep you awake at night? Well, he paused, he ummed and ahed, and then he said, um, the only thing that keeps me awake is that I hope there's no problems with the coronation. Typical Tory, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> shows you they're only interested in uh, the the uh, the rich folk. You know, it's a class war as always. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends. <laughs>